This is unfortunate for a new spawn. <laughs> this doesn't normally happen. Okay, uh, this is the newer build uh, with the Night Stalkers stroke Plague Wolves that come in at night time to attack you. Top tip if you didn't know it. Uh, currently on Governor's server, it's uh, another chap from the forums. Nice blokes allowed me here to um, play. And um, as you can see, it's night time, it's falling. And um, he set a fire down here, and I can camp out on the roof and uh, still stay warm and hide from the beasties too. Because they're starting to patrol the outskirts of the town. As you can see in the distance, uh, there's a wolf right there where my pointer is, circling the town. They're not the ones you want to worry about, you want to worry about the new ones, which are very fast and uh, very scary. I yeah, just want to say thanks to uh, Chris the Deb for putting in the uh, Night Stalkers and not telling us. You know, I'm literally crapping myself, hiding in vac, um, hearing noises around, I don't want to venture out till daytime. So, yeah, thanks for that addition. No big spiders, please. Can you hear something running around? Very creepy. Alright, it's a good time to do a little demo on uh, the changes to the deer now. Um, you can't one hit him with this anymore, it's about three hits, so you've got to be a little bit more stealthy. Get in there quick. Bash, 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 like so. Um, I think it's about five hits of an axe as well. I agree with this though, can't be too easy. It's a good, good step in the right direction there. People can definitely not say that this winter wonderland is not beautiful. It's great. Jeez, what the hell is that? What is that? That is a panther. That was freaking scary. Sweat a little bit of wee out there. What the hell? What was it from those top night stalkers? Horrible. Found the creepy church, keep, whatever you want to call it. There's something making a really weird noise in the distance, we're going to have to kind of investigate what that is. Here we go, it's some sort of wild boar, oh dear, it's actually attacking. That wasn't the one I was looking at. <laughs> As you can see, I had a bit of a game crash there, but I'm back in now, and um, this thing dropped uh, boar's tusk and boar meat. Okay, just spawned into the game and had this happen. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> so today's um, adventure will be an epic quest to find, find the second town. Everyone else seems to have been able to find it apart from me. Found a creepy churchyard where I died instantly. And more wolves. Should probably rename this Dances with Wolves. Try a bit of wolf surfing now, let's see if this works. Yeah, 
Do we get stuck? Surrounded by this many wolves? Stand on a rock. <laughs> Don't ask me what you're going to do when you're on the rock, but just stand on it. God, it's nearly a me. Poor me. So, I have two quests. One is to find this second city that I'm going to name Valhalla, because it seems to be uh, legendary for only me. People have found it, but I can't. And uh, second quest is to try and find the bear. So we shall see. I suppose we can use this wolf pack to show the effect effectiveness of the stone sword. Three hits per wolf. Stone sword, people. Here's my mate the dragon coming somewhere, so we'll follow him. Find out where he's going. And deal with the wolf that's chasing my ass. Well, I followed the dragon, couldn't find anything that resembled a dragon tail on the horizon. It does tell, help to turn up uh, your graphics to maximum and scan left and right because sometimes you'll see the silhouette of the tower in the distance. But um, I must be literally in the centre of the map because I could not see anything. So I'm taking the opportunity to double back while I still remember which way I was going originally, roughly. Before setting off on a journey like this one, um, at the very minimum, I would say, fur line backpack at least three stacks of food and enough materials well just the stone and the flint to make a fire I mean the wood's pretty straightforward because of all the trees on the island but the bare, bare minimum ability to start a fire with a couple of stacks of um, food and the sword because it gets you out of a lot of trouble Dragon Tower let's see if this is the one I've already been to where are you going? Well, that was awesome. I managed to do a complete circle around the island and not find the other town again. <laughs> oh my god, so I just saw this big stone and that was running at roughly <coughs> a two o'clock position from the Dragon Tower above Vac. I can see the sea on the right hand side in the distance right over there and we can see the village. Let's hope it's not Vac again. Oh god no, it's a charred village. Right, okay. Now we are cooking on gas. Charred village. Interestingly enough, this is the way the dragon flew. Um, I followed the dragon from the tower above back to get to this location. Uh, this is the charred village. Uh, and these poor unfortunate souls are what's left of the town. What you didn't see is uh, I forgot to film some of the loot. Uh, managed to get a leather harness from here as well. So the loot's pretty good here, and the stone hammers, etc., etc. I'm going to press on down to the coast now, found this village, and try and orientate myself and uh, get out on the map. Right, I'm going to kind of like leave a fireplace here as an X marks the spot uh, so I can find this place again. So, in a nutshell, if you were to run right from the good spawn for a significant distance uh, until you can see this rock formation here, this open bay, don't forget I placed that fire there. You can already see the buildings from the charred village uh, visible here. 
And in the background was that large stone where my pointer is that I used to find this location. Going past the Dragon Tower in the north. Just going to give you a close up of one of the uh, chards glints into the old chard village. Nice and crispy. Top uh, meal as expected. I've disturbed a big group of uh, grey wolves. It's probably went in very well. is reorientating yourself. This is the uh, most northernmost um, dragon tower. Uh, this is the one past the charred village. Uh, this is the place I got to once and then died quite quickly because there's quite a lot of animal activity in this area. And that is an impaled person with some satanic garb either side of him. So God knows what's going on here. Still have yet to find this elusive bear. I managed to get myself lost again visiting that dragon tower. Don't know which direction I'm going in. Assume I'm heading further north because I'm going towards the mountains as they flank the coast. But we will see. Something in the horizon. What is this? This is a complete accident. I've stumbled across the big town. Oh, yes. It's in the north, people. <laughs> I think. It's past the northern dragon tower. Let's have a little look round. Still working guard tower. Nice stone houses. Ooh, shiny things. Now nah, we're looking hard. Just need some boots. This is pretty big. Oop. Are they dancing? Let's see, a fairly impressive place. Ooh, thank you. Always do with a bit more meat. Strange, where's the door? Oh, there we go. A lot of loot here. A lot of loot. But I always try to consume the uh, nuts and cold food first, um, especially when it's daylight. Uh, save your cooked stuff for later on to give yourself a little bit more heat. As you can see, this town appears to be broken into two distinct areas. Um, let's go and uh, work out where those scallywags have gone and sort them out. satisfying donking noise. So it appears I've um, completed my quest for Valhalla. <laughs> it does exist. I'm going to keep going in a bit of a circle around the island and see if there's anything else to uh, find. But I'm happy at this moment. Time. I think there's still another dragon tower to be located and um, potentially another town because this doesn't look like the one that I saw uh, on the devs early video. It had the smaller stone houses that the player could build over the place. You can just guess the vastness of the island if this has taken me uh, two days of dedicated hunting specifically for this town to find it. Um, yeah there's been some unlucky deaths and uh, monster encounters that have sent me off course but um, this island is huge people. Huge. Characters having a celebratory barbecue to uh, show the end to a, an epic adventure to find a few more locations on this island. Stay tuned for more mad adventures of a strange kind. <laughs>